You're interested in participating in the market. You found these online brokers, but how exactly does it all work from a cost and fee perspective? That's what I'm gonna break down here. This video is clearly gauged for those that are newer to the market, but if you're new to the point where when I say stock market, you have no idea what I'm talking about, be sure to go and watch and you know just kind of scan through my Trading 101 series where I go over a lot of those very, very basic things. But if you do understand all that, maybe you've already gone through those videos and now you're kind of crossing those bridges of online brokers, how exactly does it work? Maybe you understand that, yeah, if I, we'll just use the stock market for example. If I wanna get involved in the stock market, I need to be able to buy stock. And in order to buy stock, I need to use this thing called a, a brokerage, preferably an online broker. But from there, how exactly is it all working from a fee and cost perspective? How much is, this, how much is it gonna cost me? Pretty much to boil it down, maybe you're at that bridge, how much is all this gonna cost me? Well, my answer is, it depends. I, don't, I, I hate to be that shady, but that's the fact of the matter. It just depends not only what sort of broker you're using, but also the cost structure that they are gearing towards you. Now, full disclosure here, am I gonna go into every little nook and cranny? I'm not gonna do that, like I said. This is a surface deep understanding so that somebody that is very new has a good broad idea of what to pay attention for and just how things are structured from, again, more so an, an overall type viewpoint. So first thing, like I said, because this is basically the question right here, is how much? The first layer of all this is the broker. There are all sorts of brokers out there and them in and of themselves are gonna have different rates. And for that, I, I can't even attempt to do that. I remember I did an E-Trade video once about them being a massive ripoff. And now that video is totally obsolete because they've actually lowered down the rates. And they are still a ripoff because you know that would depend on your strategy. But that's a whole nother story. Point being, I'm not gonna assign prices here. Just understand that, yes, how much is it gonna cost you? Well, that first layer of it depends is the broker themselves. Everybody has different uh, fee structures and you know just prices that they're gonna charge. The second is if once you pick a broker, within that broker, sometimes they allow you to choose what sort of uh, uh, you know route you wanna take. Other times they're just gonna say, hey, this is it no matter what. But there's gonna be either a cost per share or they're gonna do a cost per trade. So let's just say, for example, that we have Rupert here. Where do I, seriously, where do I come up with these names? I, Rupert. Rupert is saying, all right, I'd like to buy 100 shares. So he wants to buy 100 shares of something. So here's Rupert. He wants to buy 100 shares. And he's saying, all right, well, if I do a cost per trade, so for this, a cost per trade, remember, we're at the blue broker, okay? So at broker blue, the cost per trade, and they are, they're gonna actually give him a choice that he can choose. Now again, some, some brokers may not give you a choice, but Blue Broker does, and the cost per trade is, let's just say, $5. So when Rupert goes to buy those 100 shares, how much, it, how much it is it gonna cost him? Well, it's per trade, so he wants to buy, which is a trade, so just very ba basic. $5, it's gonna cost him. What happens if he goes and buys 1,000 shares? How many? $5, it's per trade. What happens if he goes and buys 100,000 shares? How much is it gonna cost him? $5, hopefully I'm not tricking you. Very straightforward there. Now on the flip side of things, let's say the cost per share is, I don't know, I'm just making this up to keep the math easy for my feeble mind, but let's just say a dollar per share. Now right off the get-go, nobody's gonna charge you a dollar per share, but this is just to keep the math very, very simple. So if it's a dollar per share and he wants to buy 100 shares, well, what's the math there? Well, dollar per share times 100 equals what? $100. That's pretty expensive. And then so on and so forth, if he wants to buy 1,000, it just, obviously this structure here would not make sense. Now in the vast majority of cases, cost per share is gonna be geared towards the very, very active day trader, somebody that's 
holding for minutes, maybe 20 minutes, maybe a couple of hours, but they are in and out, in and out. They are boom, boom, boom. And they're doing a lot of volume over and over and over again. And those prices, usually you can get down to 0.003 per share, 0.004 per share, sometimes even lower depending on how many. So you start to run those numbers, 0.002 at 100 shares, 0.003. Not 0 .02, 0 0.002, so I mean, a more realistic one, like I said, point zero. so for you office, span, office space fans out there, remember, decimal points are important, but you know, 0 .00, you know, 0.035, for example, could be something that's more typical. So you do the math on those and you say, all right, things bring, you know, come down in the line. But this would definitely be more so a very, very active day trader. As far as cost per trade, these are just investors, these are swing traders, somebody that's buying and saying, yeah, maybe I'll sell within uh, several days, maybe I'll sell within a couple of weeks, heck, maybe I'll sell within a, a few months. They're just, they're not super, super active, so that's gonna be you know, more so something that may fit them. Now, this, that's just, these are all just general rules of thumb, and that's why I wanna just explain how they're processed, or how they're uh, you know, structured, so that you can process each situation for what your goals are, for what your strategies are, and figure out what may be the best route for you to choose. Now, the other thing that I get a lot of question of is, let's say that Billy Bob puts in the order for 100. So he says he wants to buy. So he types in the stuff online and he wants to buy 100. Does that cost some money to enter in the order? So in lingo terms, that's just called entering in. You're entering in an order, nothing fancy. But does entering in cost any money? No, zero dollars. And if anybody is trying to charge you money to simply enter in an order, run the other way. That, that's just, that's messed up. That's, don't do that. Now, if Billy Bob all of a sudden, let's say, gets just randomly, he wants 100, but then he only gets 50 of those 100, well, a trade has begun. So a fees are going to apply. Now, what type of fees? Well, that depends on the type of structure, but fees will apply. Let's say he then cancels and says, well, I wanted 100. So he hits cancel and that order go goes away, but he still bought 50, but he still wants 50 more. As soon as Rupert puts out another 50 and they get executed, that is now a whole separate trade. So if he is on cost per trade, that can start to add up very, very quickly. Whereas if over here, it, it doesn't matter because it's per share. So whether he gets 100 here uh, or just 50, it doesn't matter. But when you start to do per trade and you start to say, oh, well, I only got this, so I'll just cancel it and then I'm gonna enter in a new order. Well, when you enter in that new order, if you're doing this cost structure over here, that is where things can add up very, very quickly. So you gotta be aware of that. Overall though, that is just how brokers are making money and how the fees and such are structured. As far as other fees, you know, all of them have pricing and fees somewhere on their website. You know, some will let you transfer money in for free. Some will charge you for different aspects. Oh, you want that sort of payment method? Oh, you want to transfer money in that way? You know, and they may charge you fees here or there. So you just kind of got to go through all those. You know, this video could be hours long if I went through each and every one of those lines. But like I said, my main focus is to give you an overarching structure of how things are all set up so that you can approach and crunch the numbers on your own to figure out what, well, you know, first off, a lot of, like I said, a lot of brokers, they'll just say it's cost per trade. But if some brokers, like the broker I use, Lightspeed, they will say, hey, you have to select what sort of commission structure you want. Because I am very active in the markets, I do per share, but there is a per trade available too. So assuming that they do give you a choice, that is up to you to grab your calculator, crunch your numbers, figure out what numbers fit best into your strategy. Well, I don't even have a strategy. Well, exactly. First, go get a strategy. And that's why then you can start to focus on this stuff. But at this point, you know, and this is a good example of why people that focus on this stuff before ever even having a strategy are getting way far ahead of themselves because it's literally impossible to figure out what structure you should be using unless you have a strategy in the first place. And sorry to say this, but buy low, sell high is not a strategy, okay? Let me just get that out of the way right now. Overall though, that's how it's set up. So first go out there, get a strategy learn about how to form a strategy, learn about the tools that are available. And then in all honesty, this is one of the last things you should be coming back to within your journey because you're gonna have no idea what structure to be using until you know what your strategy and systems and all that stuff are, which is what the whole learning experience um, you know, is, is all about. 
And if you are, I'll do a quick little plug here. If you are interested in learning how to build strategies and systems and, and the tools that I use, you can uh, go to claytrader.com. I offer many online training courses on that. With that being said, hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions down below. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community. And let me know if you have any questions.